Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 16 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in our world. Last episode, we had a pretty crazy mining adventure, but it's been a few days. I took a slight, not really break from the world, but just took some time to make some other nether update videos and I did a live stream, but it's been super exciting and I'm super excited because today we have a very exciting video. I am going to show you guys the tried and tested best way to find netherite. Now, currently there's a few different ways people do this, but I'm gonna show you guys the best method I have found. Obviously, as of right now, the latest snapshot 20W19A, this is the best method. There may be better methods in the future or people might find other mechanics, uh, but right now this is the best method I could find. Now, I should clarify really fast, there is a method where people make ginormous TNT flying machines that cause tons of lag and blow up the entire nether. However, I'm not covering that method today simply because it's extremely complicated to make, it requires a lot of resources, and it destroys a lot of your nether. I'm just going to show you guys the more simpler methods. But besides that, we have some pretty cool things going on in the world. We do actually already have one netherite thing. We have our netherite sword. Sharpness 4, Sweeping Edge 3, Unbreaking 3, pretty good already. Uh, yesterday's live stream, we did some netherite ancient debris finding, and we found just enough to make ourselves a netherite sword. The next thing I want to upgrade is my pickaxe. But besides that, we also have ourselves a full beacon here entirely filled with iron blocks, thanks to our amazing iron farm we made a few episodes ago. Currently, I gave it regeneration and haste. I felt like those were the most beneficial uh, things we could get simply because regeneration is obviously awesome and haste is nice because we can break blocks ridiculously fast. My efficiency 4 axe pretty much breaks wood instantly. My shovel breaks grass instantly. So it's definitely nice having that haste. I don't know why the grass grew. So, okay. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, but anyways, so that iron farm was working amazing. Got us that. But anyways, let's go over the best methods to get ourselves some ancient debris. So there's a lot of methods for getting ancient debris, and the first one is pretty self-explanatory, but that's just using a pickaxe and mining like crazy. So we will test that one out today. I already know the best method, but I'm still going to show you guys all of them. We do have our pickaxe here. It doesn't have mending. However, I did a few, little bit of trading, and we have some mending. So let's get mending on our pickaxe really fast, just so we can do this. Now, pretty much this method involves you literally just mining in a random, random pattern all over the nether. This one does work work pretty good and I would suggest if you're going to use this bring some golden apples with you or have a totem oven dying in your offhand and also bring some potions of fire resistance just to keep you safe so let's put these in our inventory the other two methods people use involve explosions actually there's three methods one involves the wither but not many people use that it's not that good but the main method people use are with beds and with TNT so I already have some beds here let's go to our gunpowder Make ourselves some TNT really fast, also some flint and steel. If we just grab this, I haven't made TNT in a long time, I believe. Is it like this? And then gunpowder and the rest? Or is it opposite? It may be opposite. I don't, what do you, what, what's the TNT minecart with TNT? How do I make TNT? Can I not look up how to make TNT? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, sand right there. So let's just make some TNT really fast. We have that. Let's make more than I want to make. How, how do I just make max? Oh, there we go. I can just shift click. I see. So there we have some TNT. Let's make ourselves a flint and steel really fast. Just a few of them. And I'll show you guys how this method works. All of these methods are pretty good. All of these methods work fine for finding ancient debris. Um, obviously, ancient debris is still really hard to find. And it's still going to take you a lot of mining and a lot of time to find it. But we have all of these items here for our three different methods. Now, I'm going to spoil it for you really fast. The best method involves no explosions and so we're gonna head to the nether and i'm gonna show you guys why actually just random mining is the best method to get ancient debris this contradicts what a lot of other youtubers say and some other minecraft experts because they say using explosions tnt and or beds is the best however i think they just say that because explosions are pretty fun to use <laughs> but honestly it's not the best method so let's go into the nether and check this out so to find ancient debris you have to be between y level 13 and 17. so i go around y15 that's right in the middle i find that best i have this little staircase here heading down to that y level 
I made this yesterday on stream and yesterday when I was on stream mining for ancient debris I did use the method where you just randomly mine all over the place and uh, kind of hope for the best and after about literally 10 minutes of mining I found a ton of ancient debris so if we go here this is the tunnel now I'm going to head into spectator mode really fast just to show you what this looks like and kind of explain this method all right so I set my game mode to spectator just to show you guys this tunnel we made our way down here this is on Y15 right in the middle and if we look what I did was literally just dig random tunnels all over the place just in random directions and I would start to move away as you can see whenever I found lava that's why I recommend bringing fire resistance potions or at least like me I have fire resistance on some of my armor and it seemed to protect me from the lava as best I could but I would still recommend bringing fire resistance potions just to bring that lava damage to a zero now as you see I started the mine right over here and I didn't go too far it goes this direction it keeps going this direction uh, and it honestly it doesn't go for that much longer this was actually pretty quick pretty easy to make because I have such a good pickaxe with efficiency 5 we keep heading this way just a little bit more and throughout all of these tunnels I found about six or seven ancient debris after I got around here I still have some items floating around from when I was here this was about the end just because I kept running into lava and I was under this lava lake which was not fun but all these tunnels this giant tunnel after all this time I found I think like five, four or five, six ancient debris, something like that. Um, but it was still a pretty good method. These tunnels look pretty long, but like I said, it didn't take a long time to make because I had such a good pickaxe. And what's also great about this method is you don't need any external resources. For the explosive methods, you either need a bed or TNT. TNT requires a lot of gunpowder, so a creeper farm and a lot of sand. And every other method using like beds or withers also involves a lot of resources. So I don't think those are good. So if we head back into game mode survival here, here we are back. Why this method is great though is because you don't even need to repair your pickaxe. You have mending. And even though all this nether rack will greatly diminish the durability of your pickaxe, you will often run into, as we see right here, lots of quartz. And the XP from the quartz will replenish the durability on your pickaxe. Also, great, right here, nether gold, which does occasionally give XP now, which will also fully repair the durability on your pickaxe. So this is definitely by far the best method. However, if you have a lot of explosives and just want to use them, or you're just kind of trigger happy like blowing stuff up because it's fun, we do have the method involving beds and involving TNT. So in case you want to do those methods, let me show you how to do them. And I also just want to state no method is for sure the best. This is just the method that works best for me, random mining. However, TNT or beds may work better for some other players. Or if you're new to the game and really just really early on want to get a bunch of netherite, beds might be the best because you might not have a diamond pickaxe with mending and efficiency and fortune. You might only have access to wool and, you know, oak wood which is pretty easy to get um, and TNT is pretty difficult to get but the method is fairly good I find TNT to be pretty close to random mining however random mining seems to be the best so the TNT method is pretty simple what people often do is just dig a ginormous straight line pretty much however far you want I would just say until you run into lava just keep going and then what they do is they take their TNT and then every couple blocks place a block of TNT pretty much just like this if I can actually get up here just doing this now you don't have to worry when using TNT because the great part about TNT is that it will not blow up ancient debris it is completely blast resistant and you will not blow it up by doing this so they pretty much just do this with the TNT go backwards and then I should also fill in all these gaps my pickaxe is a little too fast and all they really do is start at the end of the tunnel and start walking backwards lighting up the TNT doing it before they get blown up obviously you can hopefully get far enough away and that's pretty much all they do that's the method and the theory behind it is blowing up this large area will hopefully expose some ancient debris nearby that'll get us some netherite and if we look oh hey it actually worked already we did find one ancient debris now the great thing about ancient debris oh perfect i was just about to say this video is working out amazing for me sometimes you can find two or three ancient debris together i've never found more than three however i've never heard anything confirming that you can't get more than three i personally just tend to find one but occasionally i'll get two or three so that's nice we got two pieces right there 
that's pretty awesome this is pretty much the method in the in a nutshell uh obviously i would if i were you i would make the tunnel a lot longer than i did i was just showing you that for experimental purposes but uh that's a nice you know it's a nice thing too if you do have a creeper farm and you have access to a desert with a lot of sand i could definitely see it as a viable method the only thing that might be annoying is carrying a lot of tnt and flint and steel with you so i would recommend having shulker boxes but if you're at the point in the game where you have shulker boxes, you probably also have a diamond pickaxe with mending and access to making fire resistance potions. But if TNT and mining isn't your forte, we also have the bed method, which is pretty similar to TNT, except a little more dangerous. I know some people swear by this method, but it's pretty much placing a bed in the nether and using it to sleep. Now, if you don't have blast protection armor, really good armor i would not do this method you need to be careful because you can really hurt yourself and the reason i don't like this method is simply because you need to do damage to yourself and it also does durability to your armor now some people have said try placing it like that so that you can just right click and take minimal damage so as you see i barely took any damage if i did have a fire resistance potion you know it wouldn't have done much damage to me but regardless, I still took damage. Let's try it one more time. Let's go in this direction. See if maybe we can negate the damage as, as much as possible. So we place the bed. People place it on the second block just to get higher up. And then I'll go as far away from the bed as possible. As you can see, I mean, I didn't take that much damage. But what also sucks about this method is there's now fire everywhere. And you have to get rid of it to walk through here. TNT at least it doesn't have the fire. But again, if you are really new to your world, or really new to the game, and you don't have a lot of resources, you don't have a ton of diamonds for tools, and you don't have a ton of stuff to make TNT, this might be a good method. However, I would recommend not even trying to get ancient debris and netherite if you don't at least have really good armor and tools and weapons, simply because with the nether update, the nether is a very scary place. It's a very dark place, and it's not a fun place to be. It's a lot harder to survive than it used to be so i would recommend not even using the bed method i mean i have some beds here so i may as well use them to at least finish it up but for the most part this this is definitely not it this is not <laughs> yeah this is not a great method i mean it works i mean i just found another ancient debris like it obviously works it's just it's not that good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fart around for oh hold up we're finding a lot of ancient debris here there we go two okay so there's another one maybe no okay well i mean we have five so far which is already pretty good you need four ancient debris to make one netherite ingot it requires four um netherite scrap and four gold pieces and then you can make one netherite ingot and it requires one netherite ingot to transform a piece of diamond into a piece of netherite and you can do it in a smithing table and it'll keep the enchantments but what i'm going to do here is just kind of fart around i think i will use the rest of my beds and my tnt just to kind of get rid of them in my inventory and then after that i'll spend some time with my fire resistance potions and also you know just my pickaxe and start doing some random mining and see if i get more ancient debris so i'll come back to you guys every time i find some obviously here we go we got a little bit more let's snatch this hopefully it doesn't fall in lava there we go okay did we get it yeah we have seven there's just so much lava here this is insane i'm not even gonna go over there uh yeah this bed method though exposes a lot of lava it seems like and starts a lot of fires so that's the only downside but i mean it, it does work it's still you know it's still kind of fun also just blowing stuff up like crazy but i mean it still obviously does work if you see i already just found another piece of ancient debris but again what's nice about the random mining method is not only do i find it to be the fastest most efficient and easiest um but also it's it's, it's the safest i mean with the bed method you for sure do damage to yourself you start fires everywhere it is not fun and with the tnt method um if you're careful and you're fast enough you won't blow yourself up or do damage to yourself however if you're kind of slow accidentally trip get stuck or maybe a mob spawn behind you you might blow yourself up and lose any ancient debris you have found so i still find this mining method to be the best but i'm gonna use the rest of my beds rest of the tnt and try to find some ancient debris all right i just made myself a giant tnt tunnel and uh exactly another reason why this method isn't the best it might expose a lot of ancient debris but uh <laughs> there is fire and lava everywhere it's it's insane but it looks like at the end of this tunnel 
there was at least a light at the end of the tunnel. So we have this one piece, maybe some more, let's see, but I bet it's probably just one. Oh, okay, we might have two. Is there three? I don't think there's three, I think there's just two. But hey, there we go. I mean, we have 10 pieces so far. That's pretty good. Like I said, you need four to make one netherite ingot, and then obviously to transform everything, you need four netherite ingots for your armor, one for your sword, one for your pickaxe and tools if you want them. So I'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will need eight netherite ingots, and eight times four, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a decent amount of ancient debris. However, we're almost halfway there to the amount I need which actually, um, you know, isn't that bad. So I'm just gonna keep doing some more TNT tunnels until I'm out of TNT, and then we'll do some random mining. All right, I just made probably my largest TNT tunnel yet. Um, I found that it's most efficient if you place TNT blocks about four or five blocks apart. However, since my pickaxe is so fast and I'm just kind of trying to do this in like a whatever type of manner, just kind of winging it by ear, not trying to be super efficient. I'm just kind of placing it every two to four blocks, just kind of random whenever I, I feel like yeah, I'm ready for another TNT block. So let's blow this all up. Might get a little bit of lag with all the explosions. However, my computer is a uh, fairly decent, so it looks like we're handling it well. But if we blow all this up, hopefully we can expose a decent amount of netherite. I'm not sure. This used the rest of my TNT, so after this, it's just on to random mining. I don't think I'll get quite enough um, you know, to fully get all my armor and tools to be netherite, um, but I'll probably still get a decent amount, so now that all this is blown up, let's check this out. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I also just realized we might not find any netherite, because this tunnel is only on Y11. Why am I so dumb? I need to be a Y15. So, uh, I don't know, hopefully we'll still find some, I don't know, it'll only be on the ceiling though. You need to be, like I said, again, between 13 and 17, so down here at Y4. We're not gonna find much, so I may have just wasted all that TNT, dang it. But anyways, we still might find some on the ceiling. Who knows, let's keep checking it out. You have to be careful here. Oh, there is, okay, there's some up there. Also some over there. So we did find a little bit, so let's let's grab what we can. It, was, it wasn't a total mess up. Let, let's snatch this really fast. It's still pretty all right. So we have two pieces, potentially three, maybe. Okay, we have 12 so far. Let's get rid of this Enderman really fast. Just don't want to risk it with our new powerful netherite sword. There we go. Anything over here? Okay, there's that one piece, and I think that's pretty much it. But there we go. I mean, just using a little bit of TNT, some beds, and a tiny bit of mining, we already got ourselves 13 ancient debris, and it's only been about 20 minutes, maybe? The recording was like 11 minutes. I did a little bit of work off camera. Honestly, most of the time was just spent talking, so honestly, this is... If you use a combination of the methods, it's it's pretty efficient. I would recommend, though, sticking to one, and obviously that is random mining. Um, now, I guess the only downside with the random mining is you do probably need fire resistance potions or armor with fire resistance. What I might suggest is if you constantly do this method to get lots of ancient debris, like if you want a beacon or something, maybe just make a set of armor that is dedicated fully fire protection. Uh, I think that would be the best method, so you don't have to constantly waste resources on potions. But again, that's also, you know, fairly resource expensive, making an entire new set of diamond armor. But again, if you're already at the point where you're ready to mine for ancient debris, you probably have a lot of resources anyways. So, what I'm gonna do now is head back closer to my portal and just start to do some random mining and we'll see how much ancient debris we can truly get. All right, so here we go. I got one more piece and I think this will be my last piece of ancient debris. I've gone through a lot of potions, a lot of food and a lot of time and I have 27 here, which is pretty good, but I also have a bunch of massive tunnels. Now I found that the key to making this successful is literally mining almost all quartz the second you find it. I guess there was some over there I didn't get um, because it helps keep my pickaxe at high durability. And actually sometimes you would find quartz and another vein of quartz right next to each other or next to a vein of gold and you would actually get a ton of XP. So I've actually raised my level of XP right while doing this. Uh, and yeah, these tunnels are kind of crazy. Definitely took a lot of work. My inventory has been filled up. I constantly keep throwing all the crap out of here but we have 27 so far that's definitely worth it plus along with that we also got a ton of gold i mean we have 
literally so much which will help us make the actual nether right ingots i think we're pretty much set so what i'm gonna do now is head back to my base and we can kind of make as much netherite as possible and see what we can upgrade all right, so here we are back at the village, and I kind of got everything organized here. I smelted all of our netherite, or ancient debris, I should say. So we have 13 netherite scrap and 14, also a decent amount of XP. We also got almost an entire stack of gold. We have 48 gold ingots plus 6 nuggets. And so I believe, oh, what is the crafting recipe? Is it like, I think it's like that, and then... We go like that. Oh, there we go. Another right ingot. So we have six ingots. Almost enough to make one more. Should have gotten one more piece. But six, I mean, hey, that's pretty good. We can accomplish almost all of what we want. So let me just grab... Where are my diamonds? Here they are. Um, I will turn this into netherite. I will turn this into netherite. Uh, I guess we can also do the rest of this. I mean, the rest of my armor for now. I will upgrade my armor to add, you know, some more better enchantments in the future but i mean for now i think it's okay let's just do a quick little bit of repairing actually when i upgrade it to netherite it might fully repair it i don't know let's see though but if we use a smithing table it should aha uh -huh. there we go keep our enchantments okay it doesn't repair it at all but this is pretty nice it also isn't using any experience is it let me look no it's not so there we go full netherite armor and then we also have two ingots left one we can use for our good pickaxe. Now this is officially the best pickaxe possible in survival Minecraft. Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Netherite pickaxe. And we also have one more piece left. So I think I will put it... What am I going to use a lot? I could put it, on, put it on my Silk Touch pick, but I don't use that a lot. Let's put it on our axe, even though we don't have Unbreaking 3 yet. We can still enchant it later. So there we go. We're doing... We're pretty solid with all of this. This is my chest of rare stuff. I do have a piercing book and another mending book to use. Mending, I want to use on my sword, but I think I'll need some more levels. Oh, wait. I can actually do it. Okay. Well, let's do that. So now we have Sharpness 4, Sweeping Edge, Unbreaking. I just want to get Sharpness 5, maybe Fire Aspect and Looting. I don't know how many enchantments I can get. Sweeping Edge isn't the best enchantment, but I mean, it's still pretty good. I like it. It does a decent amount of damage. But anyways, guys, that's all for this episode. I really hope you found it useful. We'll be back to building projects in the next episode where, like I said, we will build a storage room because our house is too messy. But hopefully you found this useful. Um, I'm really hoping you guys can get lots of ancient debris for yourself. With just a little bit of time and work, we have a full netherite you know armor we have some weapons already and some tools so we're definitely doing pretty good for ourselves if you guys enjoyed consider leaving a liking and subscribe liking a like and subscribe this is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next one